AFTV. How do I look? Am I a model? <laughs> Not quite, I know that. But this is the brand new Arsenal 2020-21 kit. That is it. You've seen all of the uh, leaks and stuff like that, but it is now officially out. You can get it in their club shop. You can get it in uh, Adidas. That's where I've got it actually, down in the Adidas shop down in the West End. This is the brand new kit. Um, this is it. What do you think about it? First of all, let me just read you uh, some, uh, there was the marketing company sent me some information on it and uh, this is what they've said about the design of the kit. They said it's uh, paying homage to Arsenal's geometric crest, which the club used from 1936 to 49. The chevron graphic on the home jersey is inspired by, um, by the A within. It's also a nod to the layout of the tiling on the floors of the East Stand's famous marble halls, the historic home of Arsenal before his 2006 move to here, the Emirates Stadium. So that is the reasoning behind uh, the patterns that you see here. I kind of think they've kind of gone with this sort of patterny style because it worked very well last year with that sort of yellow Bruce Banana design. Um, on the yellow kit, you know, the, so, so I say blue, on that yellow kit. So why not try it again? Now Adidas have got a very, very hard act to follow with this kit, in my opinion. Last year's kits, the home kit, the red one, the yellow away kit, the third kit, all three of those kits were absolutely brilliant. They got rave reviews. I had fans of other clubs saying to me, you know what, the Arsenal kits are the best kits in the league. If our players had played as well as our kits last year, we would have won the league and the Champions League. That's how good those kits were. So they set the bar really high and it's a really hard act to follow. And I always say when you're designing the home jersey, it's always very difficult because basically it's red with white sleeves. You can't really mess with that. If you start messing with that, you're going to get fans really angry. They're going to be like, listen, our kit is red with white sleeves. What have you changed that for? And why have you done? So obviously they haven't wanted to mess with that too much and you can't. Or you put yourself into a lot of problems when you're dealing with the Arsenal home kit. But they've been pretty clever on this one with that design. As I said, it worked pretty well last year. We've seen it on some of the uh, old retro Adidas kits. So why not use it again? And I think it works pretty well in here. They've also gone with a sort of deeper red. Um, last year's red was a lot lighter than this one. This is sort of a very dark red sort of, you know, design. So it's a deeper red. And of course, there's a lot of differences to the kit. The neck. Now I love the neck on last year's kit. So I thought that was one of the, the highlights of the kit was the, the neck design on last year's kit. This year they've changed it up and they've just gone with it again. Try, quite a traditional look. Um, if you look back to some of the uh, original, really famous Arsenal kits, like the ones in the 70s, that round neck here, that's what they've gone with. Pretty plain, still looks good, but last year's one for me was better. Uh, last year's kits, of course, had the Adidas three stripes up um, on the shoulders. This year, they've moved it to the side, so you can see it going down the side there. They've also sort of gone with a more sort of um, tapered design. You can see there, it's more of a tapered design um, going round. Uh, you've got the badge there. Now, you know what? With this badge thing, I've got a little bit of a bone to pick. Now, this is the regular one. If Brennan here passes me this bag here, this is the regular one. It's sort of like a transferred um, badge onto it. But then I bought one for my son, and on my son's one, it's actually embroidered on. So, why is it embroidered onto the uh, small one? And it's not embroidered on onto the adults one. I don't quite get that, but um, yeah, it's like that on here. They also um, sort of not have it embroidered on with the Adidas, which again, on the smaller version, it is embroidered on. So I don't know if I've got a hooky one or something. <laughs> no, it isn't. Um, but yeah, I, I prefer that where it's completely embroidered on. Um, and then of course you go into the sleeves, 
you've got the sponsor on one sleeve there and there's the other sleeve there so just taking a bit of a deeper dive into it looking at the smaller version here as I said you can see the tapered design of it which wasn't really something that featured on the um, last year's kit also when you go around to the back of the kit here you can see there's that it, it, the red doesn't come all the way up you've got a bit of a white there on the shoulders there that goes right into the sleeve area and then of course you have the uh, the Arsenal sign there so I don't know what you guys think as I said they had a very very difficult act to follow um, so it was always going to be really really tough for them to compare to last year's kit but I think they've done a good job I really do think they've done a good job for me it is not as good as last year's kit I think last year's kit was so good that they were always going to have difficulty as I said so I would have given like last year's kit I would have given last year's kit say 9 out of 10 it was that good 9 out of 10 the best kit we've had for a very very long time this kit I'd give I think I'd give this an 8 out of 10 I still like it I think it's going to be one of these kits that the more it's worn the more people have it it's going to grow on you I think it's a, probably a little bit more of a sort of fashion statement type kit than last year's last year's was a bit more sort of just a plain design but was just I don't know I looked at last year's and I was just like Arsenal traditionally Arsenal their neck that it was just Arsenal this one is still Arsenal but it's like as I said there's more design to it so it's a little bit more of a design type thing maybe you might be you know with the tapered style and that maybe you might be able to sort of go out wear it out and stuff like that if you so you, you know I don't know you go to a bar or something like that, you're going just casually out it's probably a better sort of more casual kit wearing out than last year's one but for me I preferred last year's kit last year's kit for me was brilliant but what, what is that a Chelsea kit <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you for ages, right? You still supporting Chelsea? I oh, will. Till you know I die. we're going to slap you in the final, innit? Until I die. And we're going to slap you in the final like, wearing this kit. Like, like in Russia. Huh? Like in Russia. Don't worry about Russia, right? Huh? We're going to slap you wearing huh? this kit like as well. Russia. Do you know that? Huh? You know we're gonna... <laughs> We bought the player, we bought it with a song. <laughs> na, 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 na. See you later, na, see you later. Na, actually, na, on, <laughs> actually, on that, um, this kit will be worn for the last game of the season. So they will be wearing it in the last game of the season against Watford. And it's actually a big bonus for Adidas because they will be wearing this kit in the final when they do play Chelsea. That's going to be a tough game, but this will be on show at Wembley as well. And I'm sure Adidas will be really happy about that because normally, this has been the other thing about this kit that's been really, really strange, is the fact that normally it would have been announced to a massive fanfare. You would have had... Um, a big launch down at Adidas's shops. You would have had a big launch here at the Armoury, but obviously they don't want to encourage fans to, you know, come down there and there'd be a massive queue out here and fans queuing up to get it and stuff like that. So that's why it's probably been a little bit low key in the launch of the kit. But as I said, overall for me, I'm going to give this kit an eight out of 10. I like it. My preference is last year. Last year was my favorite kit. Um, but Adidas, I think, have done themselves again another very, very good job on this kit. We wait to see um, what the other two kits are going to look like. Remember last year, as I said, they produced three brilliant kits. I thought the yellow one was outstanding. The third one, the blue one, was outstanding. They've got super hard acts to follow on those ones as well. And uh, some of the leaks that we've seen have been quite controversial, particularly on that white one that they've got coming out. But we will be reviewing that here on AFTV, so look out for that. And as I said, you'll be seeing this worn in the flesh, last game of the season against Watford, and then in the cup final when we beat them lot, Chelsea, right? So make sure you check it out. Link is in the description. That's what you think. You're getting battered. That's what you think. <laughs> That's what you think. Robbie here from AFTV. We just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels. Over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. 
We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.